Hello everyone, Joey plays in build here and today episode 6 we are doing the Apatosaurus habitat. Now we're going to take a break on the swamp exhibit because well one I have no idea what uh, what the layout I want to be. But two, I found an image on Instagram. It's a lovely two mansion with a man-built hotel right in between. And when I first saw this picture, I'm like, "Yep, we need to build an Apatosaurus habitat with this picture. It is so nice, cut clean grass and all of that good stuff. So I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to build something out of here. For the swamp exhibit, I want to do Sucomimus and Therizinosaurus, so please do stay tuned for that. But there's one big reason why I want to do this build for the Apatosaurus is because the mansion in that photo reminds me of the Malta Hotel which we are using right now. I really love this hotel, you know? And again, like I mentioned on the last video, the hotels are good at, you know, viewing the dinosaurs. That's something that, you know, well, for me at least, I tend to neglect because we have some good viewing attractions like the dome and the log. But then again, you've been using this so many times in your habitat builds and all that stuff. It does get a little boring at some times. So you got to switch up your attractions. And the hotels is another thing. Since we have a variety of hotels, I felt like it's a, it's a good, good way to view your dinosaurs. Not only that it's unique and interesting, but also make your habitat very very nice <laughs> as you can see in this video here so yeah we have our man-made lake here and i think it is appro appropriate to have a lake since we are dealing with giant sauropods and i don't know about you but whenever i think of the apatosaurus or brontosaurus whatever it is i always picture them always in water i guess it's because you know, that's how I grew up with. That's the, the media that they always portray sauropods are in water. So having a giant lake for them is makes sense, in my opinion. The bad part is that, you know, the game doesn't have any swimming animations. I'm like, why? <laughs> you know, Prehistoric Kingdom already beat Jurassic World with that. They have swimming animations. We need swimming animations in this game. Maybe in the third game because Frontier has been very, very dry with informations in this game for the past, I don't know, couple of weeks. I think the last DLC was on in November or September. November. November. And that's a while back. Um, I'm not saying that the game is done, but this reminds me back all the way from what Jurassic World Evolution 1 where it was dry for a, quite a while. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows what Frontier is hinting about, but they don't give us anything. We've been asking in the comic section, when is the next DLC? When is the next DLC? They ignore us. Until Jurassic World Evolution 2 came out and then, wow, everybody's hype again. <laughs> but they are really, really bad at high, um, you know, to get us invested with the game. You know, we're, we have a very short, it, we're, we're very impatient creatures. <laughs> we, we, we don't like to be being wait a lot and we tend to move on to the next best thing. Which the next best thing is the Planet Zoo console edition which is coming out the 26th of march and yes i'm excited and yes i'm gonna showcase it on this channel so do please do um get ready for that uh i i'm so excited i've been waiting for this game since 2020 guys planet zoo and there was a point in my life where i just accepted the fact that i will never get to play this game but i'm just happy that the game exists so i could watch youtubers play it but now i could be part of that and i'm like yeah i can't wait to play i can't wait to experience all the tools it's gonna i'm gonna be like a fish out of water because i don't know what what i'm gonna do but hopefully it will come really really natural for me instead of awkwardly um not knowing what to do or whatever <laughs> um so, ooh, i just bump into something um 
the meantime, what I'm doing is just putting the layout, the path work, the planters. Now, I'm putting the planters there because I don't want the dinosaurs to, you know, to go to the other side. This is their barrication. If you have been following me for a while, I hardly use fences. So the best way to barricade the dinosaurs for me is using these planters. And so far, so good. Um, I really like it. And yeah, putting some lounge chairs. I think I just moved them a little bit back. Here. Oh, by the way, um, if you haven't noticed in the the speed build, the controller is very wonky, and that's because my controller is, I would not say broken, but it has its mind of its own. <laughs> it and I think you could see it from here. You can see it like I'm trying to fight with the controller. I wanted to place it right there. It won't let me. And of course, the hitbox just makes it worse. So we, so me and the controller were fighting just to get the right position. It's getting way too annoying. So yeah, you see it right there. It's just turning. Um, and I need to get a new controller because, of course, Planet Zoo is coming. And I don't want that to bother me. I also heard that Planet Zoo is very sensitive compared to Jurassic World. So yeah, I need a controller ASAP. Also, um, Planet Zoo or Frontier did post a Xbox planet zoo design controller which where is the playstation 5 i want a place this is a perfect time for me to get a controller might as well get a planet zoo controller for the playstation 5 uh come on frontier don't don't let us playstation 5 players hanging you know but yeah i've been waiting for this game since 2020 been watching you know players like best in slot which was the youtuber not only that it got me into planet zoo but got me into blessings a lot i haven't heard best in slot till you know jurassic world i like his playthroughs but i also love his planet zoo videos as well so yeah so i i am so excited to be part of that community of these planet zoo builders and you know getting inspired by it so yeah i can't wait i uh, want you to know if you guys are are happy as well are you guys excited it sucks that playstation 4 and xbox one the older consoles cannot play it i know i feel for you guys <sighs> but life isn't fair it isn't um but I uh, hopefully you guys can save up money to get yourself a new generation console. I do recommend an Xbox Series X instead of a PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 costs way too much, up to $1,000. I don't think it's worth it just for a Planet Zoo. Um, unless there's other games in the PlayStation 5 you guys are interested. But for a Planet Zoo, just get an Xbox. Okay, so what we are doing just... You know, just painting around some of the stuff, adding the planters. Oh, adding the fountain. It's really a shame that we cannot add fountains in water. I don't know. Again, nobody gives me a good answer why some items have a hard hitbox and some can't go through water. For example, the log. Why can't I go in water? Please, someone explain that to me. But yeah, the fountain is one of them where you cannot add them on the water. So I have to make a little island and yeah, place the fountain there because I really want a fountain right in the center of the habitat. Yeah, you'll see me here just struggling to fight the controller. <laughs> it is very, very awkward um, playing it right now. And I, and I have this controller, it's barely new. So I don't know what is going on. Maybe I'm playing this game way too, too hard <laughs> on a, on a, on a, building simulation game really but it's not cooperating with me and i'm just having a hard time this build however despite being a 90 minute long speed build it only took me like less than 30 minutes to build it's really not that complicated at all and once i'm done decorating the hotel and the path work and went and in, go into the apatosaurus habitat I hardly use any trees. I only use a couple of rocks and of course there are resources, the ginkgo trees, and that's about it. 
nothing of this um, habitat is just overly complicated and I just want to keep it that way I, I want to keep this to be more of a suburban neighborhood area instead of an, an enclosure for the dinosaurs what what am I talking about? <laughs> I want it's 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 in it's a enclosure for the dinosaurs, but I don't want it to feel like it is. If that if you catch my drift, so you you will probably hopefully you guys will see it on the on the when the game that we're gonna showcase. But uh yeah, um what am i doing now see this is why it's hard for me to do speed builds and commentary at the same time i don't know what to talk about <laughs> all i'm doing is just you know putting some decorations lining them up adding water um using the paint and all of that good stuff is really not that that complicated again it only took me about 30 minutes or so to to build this and but i really like it i really like how it it all formed together and hopefully you guys enjoyed it too um maybe it does give you a little bit of inspiration of your own all right so ooh, adding a emergency shelter right there kind of expanded a little bit adding a path okay so i know what i'm going for here i'm building a what do you call it like some sort of a chill spot for the guests and yeah it's gonna be another uh my awful path design i'm not a path person i tried i'm not, i mean i'm not I, I don't say that i tried i don't put any effort it's just it's not it's not my thing but you know at first i thought okay maybe it's just me but there is a lot of good path workers on console players nonetheless so so for those who are saying that console players can't do path work that no there is a lot of good path workers on console you just i think you just got to be a little bit patient with these type of things and for me it's not i'm not patient and you could see it from here i just can't <laughs> And I have a controller that is fighting me, so it's really hard to make these type of designs while I have a controller that has a brain. <laughs> so, yeah, look at that. That is just messy. I like that, though. Look at that. If only that I have the right type of colors that could blend in really, really well. But this whole section right here is meant to be a chill area. I'm going to add some chairs right yeah there you go these type of chairs just imagine you're chilling right you got yourself a hotel or a lounge chair just like those and you know you're, you're taking a, a good amount of break and you're just chilling eating whatever reading a book maybe and then an apatosaurus is just <laughs> just watching you or just minding their own business as you mind yours I feel like that's the life right there, you know, adding small little rocks just to barricading that area. And I want to have rocks there because the view have to be the apatosaurus. I don't want any giant planters because these planters are huge and it takes away the view of the dinosaurs. So these rocks are perfect. So I'm checking out everything's all good and dandy. I really like how I did this. This is really, really nice. Now I'm heading into the the actual habitat. And again, just like the habitat, it's it's really not too over complicated in building these the habitat. Um, but first, before building the habitat, is doing more planter work. Got to make sure. You got to make sure like none of the dinosaurs can escape. Um, if you're not using fences, by the way. Okay, so what am I going? Oh, speaking of fences, I am using the fence. I totally forgot about this park. My bad. <laughs> oh, no, no, hold up. So, yeah, I'm using the invisible fence. Now, the invisible fence is mainly for a, a guideline of what I'm going to do right after this is mainly meaningless but i seen it on the photo that i'm basically copying <laughs> um they're using these bushes these symmetrical bushes really cut clean bushes you see these a lot in mansions as well and i'm kind of 
basically just copying them but all i'm doing is just lining up uh, the the foliage using the decoration the decorative foliage the tega one and yeah just um just putting it all in in a place and if you notice hold up let me see if i could showcase here nope there's there's a lot of few times that i've been going back hold up. okay there you go going back there you go that was not on purpose that was just me finding the controller there you go see <laughs> the 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 controller just does not want me to finish this <laughs> see look at that that is i i it, this took me a while i think out of all the builds in this habitat build this took me forever and i think that my controller is just done with it <laughs> we're almost there though we're almost there just place a little bit more uh, there you go and we're done <laughs> see now we have this symmetrical just adding some forest station here and then we have the ginkgo trees the last and final step here and of course rocks why not i don't want to make this into a bland habitat for them but you know giving them a little bit of variety in my habitat but yeah i think i don't think i use any other foliage other than that and the solar pots are very annoying especially for you know those who need a bunch of resources and yeah i put their resources on low but still still they need they require so many especially for herd dinosaurs dinosaurs that go into packs or herds like the hadrosaurs and of course the apatosaurs you can't have just three sauropods no you need to have a herd <laughs> so if you have like 20 sauropods of course the resources is going to go up if you have only two sauropods then you have a good amount of resourcement but here i think i have like 10 sauropods so of course that that escalate it's going to keep piling up but i think i'm pretty done here there's nothing else um if you notice the pause break here that's because well i am taking a break i might got out from the game um sometimes i, I have to to get out of the game once in a while playing for like hours and hours you need to get up you need to get the blood flowing again you know and yeah there it is back on back to work as usual placing some rocks some small rocks this time I'm not gonna use those gigantic boulders i still want my dinosaurs to roam around but yeah i don't think i use any of the decorated trees let me see maybe i'm wrong but yeah i just want to make it a clean short clean cut grass with dinosaurs in between hey maybe i should add the poop the dung <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I want to add that just just so that you know we see dunk. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Um, hopefully, you guys got any inspiration out of this. We're gonna go to in game. I'm gonna bring in our apatosaurus in, and I will showcase the habitat itself. But other than that. I don't think I have anything else to showcase. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this. Um, are you guys excited for Planet Zoo Console Edition? I am. And I'm going to showcase on this channel. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I'm really excited. Uh, if you guys have been following me, I've been posting a lot of zoo-related stuff on my shorts. So, I've been to San Diego Zoo, LA Zoo, San Francisco Zoo, Fresno Zoo. I've been to the zoos on, on that state. So I post a lot on on that. So yeah, more inspirations of zoos to come up. But yeah, look at that layout. That is the habitat, the abit, uh, what? Apatosaurus habitat build. So um, thank you guys for staying or oh, hearing me rambling all day. Just doing the final touch of this. Don't worry about that. But yeah, we'll go into in-game and we'll showcase the Apatosaurus right now. Ooh, 19 minutes. I can't believe I talk 19 minutes straight. Okay, hello. We are back at in-game. If you notice on the bottom right-hand corner, I used to have three and a half stars. Now I only have like three and a 
I'll say like a, a quarter of a SARS. It's really, really a shame. <laughs> but yeah, here it is. We have our Apatosaurus. They look happy. I want to go to first person really quick. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do right here, but I need some sort of entrance to know that you're heading into an Apatosaurus island or whatever. We're going to go to first person, and you're going to walk here, and, you know, you could go over here. Oh, this person is just clamoring. He can't wait to see what's in store. So you could go here hotel but the view is right along the apatosaurus let's go into the hotel and see if the view is really really good actually no no this view is bad <laughs> but you can see the dinosaurs right here it's just these palm trees are in the way okay okay that's a bad view i mean if the apatosaurus come right around here maybe okay not a good view and of course the pool which yeah, it's not a really good view at all. <laughs> like I like I said, this um the hotel, the structure and the design looks really neat, looks modernized, but as a viewing gallery, it's horrible. So we are going to go to the other hotel and let's see if this one has a better view. Okay, this is lovely. Yeah, you can see the herd of Apatosaurus. Yeah, you can see them chilling, eating. Yeah, all of that good stuff. Nothing here. That's a bad view. Bad view. And again, just like it, it's not really good. But we're not here for the views. We're here for the dinosaurs. And you go through here. This is a seating area. And like I mentioned, on the speed build, if you're just relaxing, maybe reading a book or whatever, and just watching these behemoth. And then if you listen closely, you could hear them bellowing which makes it even more relaxing. Yeah, I love the Patasaurus, man. Oh, I, I did mention I want to add dung. So we'll go add dung. So we... Notice how I'm in game and my controller is not fighting me. It's actually being a really good controller. We could add dung right here. Yeah, this is the dung pile. Boom. And we could just add another one. Boom, that's the dung pile. Oh, it made that splats noise. Did you hear that? Here, let's hear it. Oh, I don't know if it's a splat noise, but <laughs> it does sound like a splat noise. Okay, my controller is a little bit impatient right now. I think it's it's no that I'm being using too much. How many apatosaurs I have here? Two, four, oh, I have eight. I think I need to add two more. But let's see there. Okay, see, they really, really are needy. Despite them having, you know, despite me decreasing their needs, they still need more. <laughs> yeah, nobody's swimming. Nobody, none of the sorpas are here for a swim. That's eh, okay. It's all right. You guys are beautiful nonetheless. They're all they're all chilling in this area. I want them to spread it out. Go here. Go into water. Spread out a little bit. See this view one more time? Yeah, look at that view. I wish we had the ability to lay here in these lounge chairs. That would be sweet. Yeah. Really, really nice. Um I don't have anything else. Um, here's the enclosure. They're all in the middle. It looks really nice. Yeah. Here, this is... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here, but this is another arrival point. Um, again, I got this from a comment saying that, you know, have more than one arrival points. So I have four now. Hopefully that kind of balance the, the population and doesn't crash or lag. Okay. Future um, videos, episode seven. I want to start from here. And what I want is like a two-in-one exhibit where we could have a dinosaur. I'm thinking Therizinosaurus up here. And then Sukumimus would chill in the bottom. That is That is very unique. I think I could do that. And then here, we need Spinosaurus. 
So Spinosaurus could be chilling here and up here. Somebody suggest Nigerosaurus. So I want to add Nigerosaurus. I think it's perfect. This area. And yeah, that's going to be episode 7 and 8. So we, we could see what we're doing around here. A lovely Dinochiris. And right here to keep with the theme, I wanted to make more of this type of style. And it could expand through here. Or maybe right here as well. This type of theming going on. Um, but yeah, what else we gonna want here? Now, for what I heard from Evolution Square and everybody else... The next DLC is going to be an aviary pack, right? So I need room for an aviary. And I think I'm going to put it right here. Since we have an aviary already set up, we could have a bunch of aviaries, different type of designs, whatever, in this area. So I'm going to save that. If, if matter of fact, I'm going to set it up right away just so I don't overdo my builds. And I already know that this space, well, I think I need to make it a little bit bigger. But yeah, somewhere right here would be for the aviary dinosaurs. Yeah. <clears throat> I also want a lagoon area with multiple marine species. So I think I want to put it right here in the corner. And then right here is... You know, whatever, you know, whatever dinosaurs I felt like at the time. And hopefully all of that would would stay. Like, it will not crash or lag. Because I'm digging the park so far. Um, there is, like, I there's one point where I'm afraid that I'm going to start deleting stuff if I'm not feeling it. But so far, so good. I'm feeling everything except for the playground area. This is still a little iffy to me. Um, I, I don't know how, like, I'm going to implement it. But if I couldn't find any other, other ways, then it's either I'm going to delete everything, start all over, or just try to find another attraction for it. Um, but yeah, this is what I have so far. Again, here's another look for the Apatosaurus habitat. Tell me what you guys think. Hopefully this do inspire you to build something like this. I know the habitat is very bland for my taste. I like to keep, you know, I like to make it more natural. But again, I want this to feel like and an actual home or somewhat somebody's backyard you know what i mean and they always cut their grass and all of that good stuff you can think of it like you know these guys are the owners of the park yeah these are john hammond's relatives what what are the two kids i forgot their name <laughs> timmy and this is where they stay and they have Apatosaurus as friends. Tim and Alex. There you go. I can't believe I forgot their names. Ooh, there's a little... Play. What can we add here? Let's play around a little bit. Oh, let's add a John Salmon statue. Yeah. It's his resort. Just plop it right here. Let's see. We could find any signs. I still want custom signs. But the signs here just doesn't scream out for me. What I gotta add... Maybe some some lamps. Just have a lamp right. Boom. Another one here. Boom. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's all I have for you. So you know, stick stay tuned if you want to see more. Okay, my my star rating is getting up. It's now three and a half. Um, again, I wanted to get five stars out of this park by far i you know when i completed it so hopefully i get that out of the way anyways i think this is all i have let's go back in the entrance here this is how i always signed off the video and yeah so this is it hopefully you do enjoy this video maybe you get some some inspiration please do give it a like subscribe joy plays and build and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching